Today is truly a great day. Before I start this lesson on density, I just want to tell you that I truly appreciate you watching and I also want to remind you that you are very valuable and I'm extremely happy that you're taking the time out to give yourself a fair chance. Now let's get right into it. Now density is the measure of the amount of mass per unit volume. Now one thing I want to point out, once you mention mass, what you're talking about is matter or the number of particles. So you can also define density as the measure of the amount of mass or matter or particles within a given volume or space. Now, based upon this, let us look at a question. Now, look at object A and object B and determine which one you think is more dense. Absolutely, object B will be more dense simply because it contains more particles within that given volume. Awesome going. Now, let's look at the units for density. First, I want to point out is that the SI unit for density is kilograms per meters cube. However, the subunit that can be used is grams per centimeters cube. Now, let I make this clear at this point. You cannot write kilograms and centimeters cube. Neither can you write grams and meters cube. So always keep the units as this, kilograms per meters cube or grams per centimeters cube. And also look at what the question is really asking you to do and maintain that unit. Okay? All right. So also I wanted to note that a thousand kilograms per meters cube is equivalent to one gram per centimeters cube. Now, the symbols that you should know is that density is represented by the symbol rho, volume by V, and mass by M. Now, time for the formula for density. Density is equal to mass over volume. Now, I want to point out something right here. Based on the formula, we can also represent this as mass over length times width times height. And because volume is a three-dimensional measurement, which is three different lengths, length, width, and height. Another representation for this could also be mass over area times height. And why? is because length times width is the same thing as area. So I wanted to make note of these possible formulas that you can have from density. And so you may use them to apply to different questions. All right, so let's look at a magic triangle that will assist you in finding any of these quantities. And this is truly magical. magical. Now, if you want to find a specific quantity, what you need to do is to cover it up. So let's find density first by covering density. And if you cover density, what you're left with is mass over volume. Let's try find mass. Let's cover mass. What you're left with is density times volume. And of course, if you want to find volume, what you'll surely get is mass over density. So I wanted to use this magic triangle <laughs> and, and find, find any possible, possible answers. answers. All right, so let's jump into some more details here. And what I want to look at is how can 
density be affected? Density can be affected in two ways, a change in mass or a change in volume. So if there is an increase in mass for the same volume, then it results in an increase in density. What this means is that mass and density are proportional. If there's an increase in volume for the same mass, it results in a decrease in density. What this means is that volume and density are inversely related. Now time for some examples. Now let's look at three examples for density questions. Our first example states, a block of metal occupies a space of 20 milliliters and weighs 60 grams. What is its density? Now, just remember that density is equal to mass over volume. Now, let's look at what is given inside of the question to determine what density is. So what is given, we have 20 ml, which is the volume, and also 60 grams, which is the mass. So therefore, density will be 60 grams over 20 ml. Now, write this out, you'll get density is equal to 3 grams per milliliters. Now, let's look at our second example. And in this example, the question asked, what is the weight? And I'm going to emphasize it asks for weight. So what is the weight of a liquid with density of 4 grams per milliliters that exactly fills a 500 milliliters beaker? Now, to find weight, which is kind of a little bit different, what we must find first is our mass. Because once we find mass, we can find weight. And so mass is equivalent to density times volume. Now what we want to do now is to actually look at what is given. And here we have our 4 grams per ml, which is our density, and our 500 milliliters, which is our volume. So therefore, mass will equal to 4 times 500. And that will be equivalent to 2,000 grams. Now, a point to note at this time, you have to convert the grams into kilograms. And so, therefore, 2,000 kilograms will be equal to 2 kilograms. And remember, to move from grams to kilograms, you will divide by a 1,000. Now, once we have our mass in kilograms, we can find our weight because weight is equal to mass times gravity. In this example, we're going to use gravity to be 10 newtons per kilograms. So what we'll have is weight is equal to 2 kilograms from the mass multiplied by gravity. And if gravity is not given, you can use 9.8 or you could use 10. And so, therefore, the weight will be 20 newtons. Now, time for a final example. And this one, if you look at the object carefully, study the object carefully, and it, the question asks, what is the height of the container if its density is 2 grams per milliliters and the mass is 24 grams? Now, what I want to do here is to look at the appropriate formula that we can use. And if you remember formula that I mentioned earlier, is that density can also be given as mass over area times height. So let's now apply this and find height. To make height be the subject of the formula, we'll have mass over density times area. Now, let's look at what is given in this question, we have our 2 grams per, per ml, which is our density. We also have 24 grams, which is our mass. And we have our three 
centimeters, which is our base of the object, and two centimeters, which is the width of the object. So we can apply all of this and put our mass as 24 grams, our density as two grams per ml, and our area as three times two, which is six centimeters square. Now from all of this, we'll get two centimeters because it will be 24 divided by six times two, which is 12. And that will give us our height of that object. And so we are at the end of this example and the end of the lesson. And it was absolutely my pleasure. And again, I really appreciate you watching. And remember, you are too valuable to be left behind. You are extremely valuable. So be safe and take care until we meet again.